Hello everybody, my name is Mark Becker. I'm heading the aircraft business um, back in Rotax in Austria. And today we're here at Sun & Fun 2023, just shortly after we publicly announced our new engine, the 916 ISN. So compared to what we have today, that 916 will introduce 160 horsepower on takeoff and 137 horsepower on maximum continuous. The baseline for this engine was the 915, which we already have on the market very successfully. So we did a recalibration, did some work on the interior. Most of all, we changed the color so you'd know. And we have a slightly larger exhaust to handle with that extra horsepower. The primary change is actually in the software and the recalibration to do it. But of course, that's based on the experience on the 915. So what you naturally also do, you take what you've learned from the fleet and you do these little minor tweaks, which are mostly in the inside. You wouldn't really notice it on the outside, except for the exhaust. The rest is really in the inside. It's many small items just to make sure it will sustain with that horsepower and it runs up to that TBO of 2000 hours, which we have right from the beginning. This based on the 915, the 915 being based on the 912 IS, which you see here, actually it kind of shows you that there's a long history to it. After we did carbureted engines for decades, we eventually moved over to the injected and faded control engine, and we had lots of experience to gain, and you slowly build on that experience of it. Every new engine, you introduce all that experience you have and make it all just a little better. One thing which proves that is, that is the first time we have an engine which right out of the box, within certification, it has 2,000 hours full TVO. Which is kind of a statement coming from that old 800 hours, when 1,200 hours, 1,600 hours, this is 2,000 hours right out of the box. Like all the other four-stroke engines we have, it was always the goal to um, also have an alternative for Afgas. Not only for the reasons we see today, but right from the get-go, we also wanted to have an alternative option, so we always developed and certified it for MOGAS as well. So everything from 95 octane upwards, it will fit into that engine and the engine will run just fine with it. Actually, nowadays, we actually do prefer MOGAS over AFGAS because of the lattice content, which usually increases the maintenance, into, uh, decreases the maintenance interval, so that's actually the perfect fit for it. Of course, we don't stop here. I mean, there's a lot of talk about e-fuels, sub-fuels, so fully sustainable aviation fuels, different fuels type, AFGAS replacement, we're going to make sure this will work for it and we're already actually working on it. Like, for example, with the AFCAS replacement, we've already did the testing. It will fit and it will work just fine. What makes that engine so unique, what makes it so receptible for many, many different fuels and so um, dependent, while even if you had not the perfect fuel and there is that electronic control system, it's a fully redundant, physically redundant system which will ensure the proper work of the engine. It uses its knowledge on the mapping and whatever the engine will go out to, it, it can react to it. So just give it a, a thought. If you have some trouble, if some of the sensors, the engine will know what to do with it. It doesn't just quit on you. It tells you you're a failure, go land. It, it can take over. And even if you had a physical failure in one of the injection system and the cabling and the, one of the issue itself, well, the second part jumps in. You as a pilot wouldn't even notice except for a small error message, but that's about it. The safe continuation of your flight is always warranted, and that's the big asset of having an electronic control system. Well, it's always if you do something new, there's a lot of firsts. I, I thought a lot about, okay, we're developing it from this, and it's just the logical next step, but it's, it's a lot of firsts at all the times. The biggest first now for this one is not necessarily the engine. It is the fact that we're not only coming up with the engine, but right away we have a presentation of an OEM with it, and that's an OEM who hasn't been using that engine that and that really what makes it so special for us. And that's when we come up this morning to release the engine. It's like, that's giving you the goosebumps because you bring an engine and you find an OEM who has enough trust because of the experience of your engine. She said, you know what? That's gonna be the one powering my next airplane. And that's a hell of an airplane to begin with. The 915 is already installed in more than 100 different models. So of course we won't gonna stop the 915, but what we see is we, there will be some natural development. People having installed the 915 might think or already work on installing the 916 because it's almost pretty much the same installation. Does it get rid of the 915? I don't think in the short term. We will see in the 10, 15 years down the road, but as of today, I think it's good to have that two options because not everybody needs the full power rather has some other things that he likes to do with. So the 915 will still continue to have a place. Availability for this one, 
Um, we are very close to f finalizing the certification. We are even very close to start production. So by latest in August, you will see, see that engine physically available here with the distribution network. So I'm Patrick Horgan, uh, President and CEO of Cub Crafters. Uh, exciting news, we're here at Sun & Fun 2023 uh, with Rotex. Surprising that uh, we've offered a new model. We've worked together with Rotex. They've unveiled this new 916 IS engine, which is a turbocharged 916, offering 160 horsepower. We've been working with them for some time to launch together, develop together. So the new Carbon Cub UL aircraft is what we launched today, we announced today. It's an ultralight, it's a next gen, uh, as we take the Carbon Cub to the next level, the Carbon Cub being the best selling LSA. This new engine with single lever control, it's compatible with all the various fuels that are out there, including MoGas. This adds a whole other dimension to our product line. We focused it on our international customers, and we're really pleased. We're flying a, an engineering prototype right now. Uh, the, the, the engine has got great acceleration. It's as advertised on fuel usage. It's as advertised on power. Uh, we're impressed. It's quiet. It's, um, we're, we're happy about where we're heading in the next level to, to bring our carbon cup to another level. Yeah, so the 916 is being installed on our new Carbon Cub UL. That's an extension of our Carbon Cub SS, our big successful SS, which is an LSA certified airplane. We've built hundreds and hundreds of those. Uh, this brings our, with new technology in titanium, advanced composites and the engine, we're taking yet more weight out of the airframe. So this will be still LSA qualified. Uh, and it will also meet the, uh, the UL requirements for various countries in the 600 kg, 650, 700. This will allow us from an international standpoint to bring our, bring our products to a new level. So uh, we're taking orders at the show uh, for 2025. Uh, the only reason it's 2025 is we're sold out through there. Uh, so we're, it'll be put in production uh, yet uh, next year. We're completing the development now. Like I said, we're flying the engine. Uh, It'll be here uh, at the show. We'll have the airplane. And folks that are here at the show can come by our booth and take a look at the airplane and the engine. Uh, so it goes into production mark next year and uh, beginning of 2025. So customer deposits here will deliver then and uh, we're excited about it. So Cub Crafters like Rotex is an innovation company. We're, we're, we're always developing our, uh, and adding new technology to make the customer value better. Best of class backcountry airplane. We're a full size backcountry airplane. So by coming up to the 160 horsepower and we're turbocharged, so we're maintaining that takeoff power through altitude, this was a perfect fit. As Rotex was developing their products and our and, and in matching our needs, this was a great tie and we're, we're glad to be partnered on this project and uh, excited about uh, bringing this to our customer base.